welcome to Haleakala. Sometimes I summarize the work that I do as meditate and play. These are the two qualities, these are the two paths, the two pathways to uh, deep happiness and truth. So here's two practices, which is pretty much the only thing you need. Discover the I am. Discover that the I am is in all things, that all things are expressions of the I am. They are emanations, appearances of the I am. Everything is a dream. The substance of the dream is the I am, which you can access when you turn your gaze away from thoughts and emotions and people and things and places and time and space and inward to that sense of I exist, that pure sense of existence. When you become soaked by that, like taking a bath in your true self over and over and over again, the peace and the light and the love and the divinity that begins to radiate through your energetic pores is fabulous. <laughs> it's magical, it's otherworldly, it is paradoxical, it's beautiful, it's enlightening. On the other hand, in the world of what works and how to get shit done, you play. What do you play with? You play with where you are currently out of alignment with what the purpose behind your current incarnation, your current life span is. Why are you here? What's the main purpose behind being here? And you will see very clearly, very quickly, that a lot of your thoughts, a lot of your beliefs, the majority of them are picked up from other human beings. They are programming, they are conditioning, they are given to you by the matrix of this collective immature consciousness that we call humanity. And so you have to separate yourself from all of that by actually accepting it. By separate, I mean purify. Like when you're making ghee and you're purifying, you're separating the pure butter from the impure butter. Similarly with yourself, you have to purify yourself. You have to realize that you are not any of these thoughts, you are not any of these emotions, and they should not hold sway over your state of being and over the choices that you make in life. So when you get clear on who you are, and why you are here, what your calling is, then you suddenly see how incongruent the vibrations of your energetic field, of your psychology are. You have a lot of mixed frequencies. Because of those mixed frequencies, you will go out and do and react to life instead of create and play. You will be in a constant state of consumerism, consuming from experiences. What can I get instead of how can I be what I want to be and then create that, and share that and inspire other people to find their unique access point to why they are here and what they are made of and how we are all one big giant infinite beingness. So meditate and play, meditate and play. Unless you don't care about your human life, I say they're equally as important. Rest in the I am, the experiential direct contact of the I am. Realize that all things are inside of the I am. They only exist of I am. And then you can, if you want to, take the next step and realize that you are beyond the I am. That before the I am, even before the divine, godly I am, which is all of creation came about, that primordial I am, even before that, you was that. You are that infinite absolute. And then you play. You bring that expanded awareness, that expanded understanding of yourself while you're still incarnate and while you still feel like there's relevance to your journey here and you want to be of service to people. You want to get people to wake up from this dream and to their capacity while in this dream. So you play and you're an example of that play and you become fearless and you fall in love with yourself and you fall in love with everyone else because this is the nature of the I am. There is no division. There is no separation. You are all things. All things are you. Everything is possible. And I love you. <laughs>